our third day of Oshkosh. We're not beat yet, but we're heading for it in a big way. Yeah. But uh, the high wing sweepstakes are on. Everybody wants to know what you're going to do, when you're going to do it, and they wanted to see it. And oh yeah. my goodness, that looks like a high wing. Tell it us sure all about is. it. Yeah, so that's the Sonics High Wing. Uh, we are, uh, from the beginning, we didn't want to mix it up with the backcountry um, craze that's going on right now. Uh, the, the mission of the airplane is for it to fly like a Sonics, uh, to be fast and aerobatic. It's our first aircraft that is aerobatic with two people aboard. It has significantly more space in the cockpit while still being as small and light and as efficient as we can make it. Because we need the structure for two-place aerobatics, we're able to take advantage of the upcoming Mosaic and PRM. So we are able to do a 1,500 pound gross weight. We're right on track. We weighed it the other morning as it sits right now, even with the seat cushions in. And as you see it, it weighs 313 pounds, which means that we're very much on track to make an empty weight goal for the finished airplane of 820 pounds or under. So that combined with 1,500 pound gross weight gives us a remarkable amount of utility, which is what we wanted to offer with this airplane. Outstanding. When are we going to see kits? Well, we have to get this one flying, and we'll be building a tri-gear prototype. So uh, certainly by Oshkosh 25, we want to be taking orders, if not before, and shipping some form of inventory by the end of the year in 2025. What's the test program going to look like? So it'll be your typical test program. We're starting this airplane with the UL Power 130 horse engine. Working with them and Sensenik on the prop, we'll be mapping out the RPM benchmarks that we need to test climb and cruise to simulate, you know, Jabiru 3300, Aero-V Turbo, even 80 horse Aero-V we'll test for, and we'll see what it does. It does have more wing area. My sense is that you're gonna want, you know, 100 horse or more. Rotax 80 horse ought to do just fine though because the reduction drive as you know certainly changes things for us in terms of torque characteristics and what we could do in takeoff and climb. In the aerobatic regime certainly we need to get our favorite aerobatic test pilots in to bring it out and uh, do our spin testing and, and everything else. Well, looking forward to it. What does the community think of this airplane at this point? The response has been tremendous. It's everything we hoped for and I think more. Um, I think the biggest thing that resonates for people and what we wanted to do with this airplane was making an airplane that is very easy to get in and out of. We made the doors as big as possible. The door entry height is just like getting in and out of an SUV. And so I think people are really responding to that. And it actually can cruise with some speed. I mean, you know, with 130 horse, we're hoping to at least get close to what a Jabiru 3300 powered Sonics can do. So, you know, cruising, truing out at 8,000 feet at, you know, 170 miles an hour, somewhere in that neighborhood. We might not quite get that fast, but if we can start to approach that neighborhood, I'll be extremely happy. Pricing? You know, best I can estimate at this point, it'll be similar in price to the Xenos motor glider kit. So you're, you know, high 30s, low 40s for the airframe kit. And then of course, depending on what engine and avionics you put into it, you could spend, you know, anywhere from 70 to, you know, 100,000. I guess you'd probably have a hard time getting that high. But if you keep it simple, I mean, we have a bare bones DVFR package for 1200 bucks. So uh, you don't have to spend a, a mint on avionics if you don't want to. Sounds like a plan. Good luck, and we look forward to seeing this completed. And, yeah, call me when you're ready to fly. All right, sounds good, Jim. We will. The legendary BD4C program is building an exciting future for those who want a rugged four-seat family flyer with a proven history. The SureWings program produces a complete kit and builder assist program that gives you everything you need to be flying a BD4CS in record time. For conventional kit builders, BD Aviation has parts, partial kits, and full kits for the 190 mile per hour BD4C that has logged thousands of hours. Visit SureWings.com and BDAviation.com for more details.